Hello, welcome to another tutorial on this channel. Today we are going to learn how to install Inventor 2023. Yes, Inventor 2023 is already out and I have already downloaded the setup file. So what you need to do, there are two ways to go about this. If you are using the download manager to, in, to download the software, then you can simply come to the download manager and click on install. Alternatively, you can click on this folder and it will take you to the setup file or folder that we were already looking at. And then you simply click on setup. But we have this folder already open. So we simply open this and run the setup. It should be easy to install and run Autodesk Inventor installation. So once you run setup the folder or the file will prepare for installation. Remember this is a zipped file with a lot of content to extract. So that processes for a few seconds and then you will get the installation window. I'll be asked to confirm whether I want to run the setup or the file. That is as a result of a Windows security feature. So you simply agree to the terms of use. Of course, you don't have the luxury of refusing to accept that. And then the product installation location, this program will be installed or the product will be installed under program files in the Autodesk folder. You can change this if you want to, but I, I strongly advise against, against that. The content will then be installed in program data and uh, Autodesk folder. You can also change that, but I highly recommend that you keep the default folders. You then need to choose the libraries that you want to install, the content libraries, the DWG TrueView 2023, and then Inventor Electrical Catalog Browser. And then you simply run your installation. Now, contrary to the previous installation windows, you realize that this is darker, black. The other one appeared a little clearer. And then the progress is shown in form of a circle. As you can see here, in the other in the previous versions, I think 2021, going backwards, we had a progress bar here that was marked in green as you install a particular product. This one is a circle on which the progress bar moves, and the progress is also indicated in front of the software name. You can see 10% and so on and then you'll get these additional components checked as you or as they get installed into your machine you can cancel the installation at any given time should you feel that something has gone wrong or you did not intend to install this so you can cancel the installation but let's do this to the end So as the installation goes on, you can monitor the progress and should there, should there be any problem, then you'll be able to get alerts. You'll be able to get alerts so that you rectify or give a sol offer a solution so that the installation can proceed. As you can see, we are now at 
of the installation, 31%. So basically, you've also noted that there weren't a lot of configurations and the entire setup was a very simple process of about two to three configurations that are very basic anyone can install this product so this is inventor professional 2023 for you so as the installation nears the end as you can see we are um, we are now at 97 percent you need to also check the other components they will be installed immediately after the main product so the main product is done you can see a white checkbox that means that the installation was a success and you can also now see that the other components are installing pretty fast uh, the inventor electrical catalog browser 2023 is at 89% uh, in a very short time it's gone up to 89% inventor content libraries at 5% and DWG TrueView 2023 is also at 5% so this is now the installation of the additional components but the main product is installed as you can see we have autodesk inventor 2023 you can actually run the product now because the installation is done the other components are still running they shouldn't take that long because they are not as heavy as the main product finish so basically after the installation you're required to restart your your, your machine but i'm not going to restart it now so whenever doing an installation you need to look for the progress bar and lastly and finally there should be a checkbox or there should be a tick against the product you are installing and you'll of course get the word complete against that product so if you installed inventor professional 2023 and three additional components and then we can now finish the installation so guys that is how we install inventor professional 2023 in the next video we are going to install autocad 2023 thank you and please help me keep growing help me meet this target by watching and repeatedly watching my content and sharing out Thank you very much for watching and let's meet in the next tutorial.